Hello, we are still in day 27. In earlier video, we started with API management. You understood how to configure an API in API manager, and you understood how to deploy a proxy using API manager. We applied a basic authentication policy, and we understood how policies work. But there is a small problem with earlier approach. Let me tell you, actually what we did, um, a, through API manager, uh, I logged into browser, from browser, I logged into API manager and I configured the policies. API manager will store it in the database. The agent which is running here will pull API manager for any new policies. If there are policies, the policies will be downloaded by the agent and they'll be kept inside policies folder. So whenever a client is making a request to proxy, proxy will make sure that the policies are executed. And if everything is fine, proxy is making another API call to the original implementation. Don't you think that there are two network calls actually to get a response? Yes. Don't you think that performance will be degraded? Yes. This is a problem. So, so for that, there is an alternate approach for managing APIs that is called as API auto discovery approach. So what we do is we take another approach. Now in this approach, we don't need a proxy. What we do is uh, while we are registering our API with API manager, we will say that we want to use API auto discovery feature. And, when, and then we'll add the API. So the API manager will generate an API instance ID, a unique API instance ID for the API. Then what we do is uh, during development phase, in the original implementation also, using the same ID, we will enable a feature in API implementation called as auto discovery feature. So within my application itself, there will be API instance ID and we have enabled auto discovery feature. Now what? The agent which is running within this runtime will recognize that we have enabled auto discovery within our application. It will get the API ID and register it with API manager. Now the API manager knows about our application because the agent has actually sent this information to API manager. Now the same agent, what it will do, it will pull for any new policies configured. It will pull the API manager for any new policies configured. So suppose if we have configured some policies, the agent will download it and keep them in policies folder. So now the client will directly make a request to the original URL before the control goes to our actual flows first the policy logic is executed here itself and then the control will go to the actual implementation so the policies are directly applied on my implementation we don't need a separate proxy so this is a feature called as api auto discovery okay i know it is difficult to visualize Maybe if you are visualizing, that's okay, fine. But once I show you the entire step-by-step -step process, you will get more clarity. Just keep on watching this video. So what I will do is uh, I'll go to API manager here. Actually, I have deleted the API which I configured in earlier video. And in runtime manager also, I deleted that proxy. Okay. Now I'm freshly adding an API. Okay. Add a new API. Where am I going to deploy? I'm not going to deploy to Flex Gateway. I'm going to deploy to Mule Gateway. Okay. Here, there are two options for proxy type. The earlier we have taken this approach, deploy a proxy application. We have taken a proxy approach. Now, there is another approach, connect to existing application itself. Here it says, 
connect your API to Mule application using auto discovery. So I'm enabling this auto discovery. Feature by selecting it. And what is a Mule version? Mule 4. Fine, next. Which API you want to manage from Exchange? I will select this restaurant's SAPI and then next. And there is no downstream to configure. So um, there are no required fields. This instance label is optional. I will not give it. Take next. And upstream URL, this is the original API URL. I will take whatever is coming from the API, the next. That's all. We just need to uh, save it. So once I save it, uh, you can see that an API instance ID is automatically generated. And you can see that API status is unregistered. So now what I will do is I'll copy this API instance ID. Now. I will go to my implementation main XML. I'll go to global element. And I have to enable auto discovery here. I'll click on create in global elements. I'll search for API auto discovery. And here it is asking me the API ID. I'm pasting it. And then I have to give the main flow name. I have to refer to the main flow. This is the main flow, the one ending with main. OK. So this is how we enable auto discovery in our application. That's all very simple. Now what we have to do is we have to deploy this on the runtime. So I just export it. Export the mule deployable archive. Next. I want to export it to desktop. Finish. Already there's a jar. I'll replace it. So let it be exported. In the meantime, I'll go to um, Runtime Manager because I have to deploy the application through Runtime Manager. OK. Deploy application. I want to deploy it to my local server. I'm selecting hybrid local server. Of course, I could deploy it to Cloud Hub as well. But now that it get deployed to the local server. I could select any of this Cloud Up 2.0 or Cloud Up as well. Now I want it to be deployed to my local server. I'm selecting it. Then choose a file in desktop. Yes, this is the one which got uh, exported. Yeah, it got exported. So I'll select this. Then I'll give a name my restaurant. SAPR. Fine. I will take all the defaults and deploy. So let us wait until the deployment is successful. Yes, the application got deployed. Mm, I think I saw an error here. Uh, fail to retrieve API information for API. Uh, unable to get API information from API platform. Hmm. Is it the for the one ending with four three one? Let us check. Mm, I'll go back. Okay, it, it says it is started. I'll go back to my API manager and check if the registration is done still the status is unregistered i'll click on it <clears throat> yeah the instance id is one nine two three two four three one yep it is saying failed to retrieve api information the request will be retried after some back of time Maybe it was some problem while making an API call. The agent was trying to make a call. It was a failure. And after that, I have seen that it is now unblocked. Fine. Let us wait for a few more seconds and check if the status becomes active. I'll just refresh it. Let us see. Yes, now it is active. Maybe it was a problem with any point studio API call. 
now it is active uh, if we click on this i should see this api status as green active fine now what i will do is i'll go to policies and i'll try to apply a policy but before that um, let us see here in the policies folder are there is there some folder called as http no so this is a original server now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to add a policy <clears throat> i will add a uh, basic authentication simple next i'll give some username and password shiva and a secret apply so i applied a policy let us see let us wait until the policy gets downloaded here i should see the logs on the console once the policy gets applied the agent will try to download at regular intervals i said right it will download so in the meantime i will tell you what all happened actually what happened uh, there is no separate gateway for proxy in the runtime itself i deployed my implementation this implementation is having the api instance id the agent it recognized the api instance id here and it recognized that api auto discover is enabled on the implementation the agent has registered using that instance id it has registered this app with api manager that is when the api manager in the api manager the api status became active now through browser i applied a policy the policy will get stored in api manager database at regular intervals the agent will be pulling if there are any new policies if there are new policies the policies will be downloaded to policies folder let us see now actually on the console i saw some logs saying applied policy http basic authentication let me go and check inside the policies folder yes i can see here the http authentication like this okay now through postman i will try to make a request any request hey i think uh, here authentication is given without any authorization yes i so i got 401 and if i pass basic authentication details with username and password siva and secret i am getting the response so now by using api auto discovery feature what we did is we applied policies directly on the implementation so here there is one certification question which is possible actually if you want to apply policies on your implementation what needs to be done there will be options a b c d so one of the options says you just have to register an api in api manager by using that api auto discovery feature then the api instance id which is generated by api manager has to be configured in the application this is the thing that needs to be done so in the exam i have seen some questions related to this concept once your concept is clear then you can answer any questions okay so that's all i have enabled api auto discovery and i hope you got a clear picture so what you can do is now you can follow whatever steps i have done and deploy your api enable api auto discovery feature and try to see it on your machine there is no documentation provided i want you to go through the video again and follow the steps okay that's all i will see you in next lecture